Good Sunday morning, everyone. This morning we are going to elaborate five dreams of Xi Jinping, the General Secretary of China. He has five various kinds of dreams for China, Chinese people, economy, nation, globalization, global, historical, personal, etc. And he has actually taken an oath to materialize these five dreams within the next decade or so. Just one decade or so. Now that is what makes China progressive, China great, China aggressive, China striding, and China progressive nation. Unlike India, China is always on the move, always progressing, always striding, always moving ahead. And that makes any nation, any nation progressive. If the authority, prime minister or president or general secretary or chancellor, whatever you call it, if they don't actually have any kind of dream for the future, or any individual for that matter, if you don't have any kind of dream for the future, you are not going to have any kind of future, period. No future. When we individually, every individual sees the dream, cherish a dream, keeps the dream in the bosom, then and then that person is actually going to progress. But if you don't have any kind of dream for the future, like Sikha Prahlad, they say that Indians have no vision for future. Now, if you don't have any kind of vision for future, how you can have a future? What are you going to do in future? Your future will be totally vacuum, totally empty, totally de deplete with every single thing. So, first and foremost, we have to learn how to dream. We means the masses, we means the leaders, we means the industrialists, we means the businessmen, we means, most importantly, teachers and students. Now, if we don't have any kind of dream in our life, then we are going to be redundant. We are going to wither away. We are not going to have anything better in future. As you see in India, those people who have dream, they achieve it, they materialize their dream, they have better life, they have better future, they have better present. And those who don't have any kind of dream, they stay far behind than other people, particularly about politicians. They have no dreams at all. That is why they are actually just managing India. They are not progressing India, they are just managing India in a stagnant way. India is stagnant mainly because leaders have no dreams at all. They don't do anything new, they don't want to do anything new in the future, they don't want to achieve anything new in the future. They don't even think about those territories and those areas of India which have been forfeited by them, gone by them, controlled by Pakistan and China. They don't think about getting them. How can you expect them to? They are going to achieve something holistic, something better, something new. How, they, how do you expect that these people, these no good people are going to expand India or diversify India, or they are going to achieve better things for us. No. When they come, India is stagnant, and when they leave after 10, 15 years of eat, drink, and be merry, India is the same. This Shumbha, Kushumbha, Chanda, and Munda, they don't do anything. They come over here and gain weight, that's all. They come their weight is about 70 kilo. When they leave, their weight is about 90 kilo. Eat, drink, and be merry. So, we are going to elaborate five dreams of Xi Jinping of China. Dream number one is economic dream. Xi Jinping has actually decided that the economy of, in, of China is going to be a couple of notches ahead of America. It is going to supersede the American economy. Within the, within the next decade. 
Within the next decade, Chinese economy is going to flourish and most probably it is going to supersede, surpass American economy. And for that, he has been working innovative things. He has been actually compelling all the factories in China to prepare to prepare for better economic advancement and GDP must grow three more percent within the next decade. Global dream. Global dream means she has been trying to spread its wings in all the continents and particularly Africa, because Africa is very rich, very prosperous in raw material. And if you want to expand your economy, if you want to enhance your economy, if you want to improve your economy, then you need industrialization. And industrialization would need raw material. And Africa is replete, saturated to the rim with raw material. And China has been eyeing. China has been targeting the European market for exports, America, Asian markets, for export by building the Silk Route and targeting Africa for raw material. Personal dream. Personal dream means that she has been dreaming that every Chinese must be out of the poverty, below the poverty line. There, should, there are only 3% Chinese and below the poverty line and she doesn't like even 3% being under the poverty line. So he's trying to extract every single person of a Chinese origin from the, from the below the poverty line and prosper every single Chinese by raising the standard of living, raising the educational level, raising the technological sphere, raising the family income, raising the GDP, GNP, GNH, and most importantly, raising the per capita income and per capita production of every Chinese. So every single Chinese will be robbed in contributing for the national goal and as such, as such she has been targeting that his dreams will be materialized by the participation of Chinese demography of 1.5 billion. Historical dream. Historical dream means whatever she and the other Chinese believe belonged to China, and China has lost them in the past. And one of those things is Arunachal Pradesh. Chinese students are taught in primary, higher secondary, secondary school that Arunachal Pradesh belonged to China in the good old days, and India actually took it away from China. This kind of malign, malicious campaign has been fed to the students of China and as such every generation, generation A, B, C to generation Z, every generation of China believe, believes that Arunachal Pradesh belongs to them and it was forcefully taken away from them by India. So historical dream means those, those territories used to belong to China in the good old days, in the yesteryears, should be taken back by hook or by crook, including Arunachal Pradesh, um, Southeast, uh, Southeast part of the China, or Taiwan, and uh, East China Sea also. That right now the tension has been going on in East China Sea between America and China, and this matter will be also resolved by Xi any which way, whatever it takes, China is going to be ready for that. China is ready for ko sera sera. Ko sera sera. Whatever happens, happens. Whatever will happen, will happen. America is there. American battleships are also over there in Southeast China. 
China Sea, and tension has been rising as we talk. Dream number five is national dream. She wants China to be absolutely Neolithic, absolutely 21st century, 22nd century China in which every single thing should be much ahead, much advanced than any other nation and China must be superseded. Even America in every single vista, in every single arena, in every single fact, uh, field, including economy, technology, education, ex um, uh, exim, in uh, uh, standard of living, GDP, GNP, GNH, forex, every single way, including military might. China wants to be second to none under the five dreams of sheep. Jinping. China wants to be a couple of notches ahead of America, and that is the biggest dream of Xi. China does not want to be second fiddle in every way, but to second to none, but to second to none in every single vista, every single arena, every single field, every single sphere. And this dream will be achieved because Carl Sagan, late Carl Sagan, the defining scientist of America, has said about 25 years ago, the Chinese people have all complex, reptilian complex, meaning whatever Chinese people decide, they achieve it. <clears throat> they achieve it by hook or by crook. Carl Sagan has said that whatever the Chinese people are going to sink their teeth into, even the universe cannot set it free. This is called reptilian complex. This reptilian complex is only in Chinese people. So whatever the Chinese people are going to dream, they are definitely, undoubtedly achieve. That is why Alexander Great, when he was coming to Asia, he took the route of China. And when he was passing from China, he saw the Chinese people were under the stupor totally intoxicated by opium, and they were asleep, they were dozing off, they were in a semi-slumber state. Alexander Great wrote down in his diary that when I passed through the China, I found the Chinese people were in a semi-slumber due to the intoxication they were tipsy, they were under the intoxication due to the opium, and when I found them, they were dozing off, they were tipsy, and he wrote that I predict that when these Chinese people are going to awake, they are going to come out of this intoxication. These people are going to be dragon, and they are going to move the whole world around just by waggling their tail just by waggling the tail, that kind of dragon or that kind of our complex they have. And Alexander was on the dot. Alexander was absolutely right because today China is second to only America, but very close and still moving ahead. And within the next decade, every China Watcher has been predicting that China is going to be superseding America. China would be second to none. China would be number one in the world. And China has been gaining the ground. Definitely and rapidly gaining the ground. America is scared of China. So is India. When the Chinese Sea gave this speech, this speech, India did not learn anything, or India did not think about emulated, or India did not think that we should also have five dreams or ten dreams. But India began to trepidate. India began to shake. India was shaking because India knew what China was talking about, that China was talking about Arunachal in his historical dream. And Indian leaders began to discuss among themselves that we should keep an eye on China. You see that one speech trepidated 
all Indian leaders, Indian leaders were shaking with fear. That is India, and that is China. China can send fear into our chills, and we cannot send fear into Chinese, Chinese spine. Our spines are so poor that they can send chill into our spine. That's all the time we have. Tomorrow, again, we're going to talk about something else. Until then, God bless everyone on this planet. Thank you very much.